Now we'll talk about salience. It's very important to understand what is salience. In my previous two um, lectures, we talk about addiction and dependence, and we mentioned that uh, addiction is a condition when a person essentially lose control with a compulsive desire to take the medications or the drug or the substance with a negative emotional effect. And on the other hand, dependence merely means if the substance is stopped, the person go through withdrawal. Now let's talk about salience. First, salience means something very important, something very noticeable, something when a child is young, for example, early stages, a child uh, uh, salience may be ice cream. When a child take ice cream, he feel happy. What happen is there is a substance called dopamine, which is released in the brain, which give pleasure effect, and and very high dopamine level may also give a feeling of high. So the initial phases of addiction, that's what happen is that the child who is happy with the ice cream and later on it may be iPad, it may be iPhone, those pleasurable things which release dopamines are lost. Now once he exposed to the drug, then his salience is drug. And if he does not find the um, um, drug, he will have negative effects. So the, the release of dopamine is shown in the studies uh, in nucleus striatum, particularly in the addicted patient, it is shown that the dopamine level goes down. So the person who is addicted, his salience is the drug. If you offer him ice cream, if you offer him other substances which make other person pleasurable, happy, he doesn't feel it, he doesn't enjoy it. That's why many addicted patients don't eat for many days. Many people ask me, what I, do I gain weight if I stop the drug? The answer is yes, you may because currently you are not eating. You are not, you don't worry about food. You are only worry about our drug. Suddenly your salience will shift. Now you start enjoying the drug once you go into treatment and then you start enjoying the uh, food. You start enjoying activities in life. Then you like to do them because uh, once a, a person's salience is only drug, he just focus on the drug, he think about the drug. He has a negative and positive uh, consequences. Negative com consequences applies. What happens if the drug is, is not available? A person who do not get the drug, then he goes into withdrawal, which are extremely harmful and extremely sometimes painful, like nausea, like vomiting. It's, it's, it's like everywhere there are, uh, every part of the body coming out, they are vomiting, they are tearing, they may be urinating, all sorts of um, things going on in the withdrawal. So this is called a negative effect. And they know if I don't they get that, that drug by tomorrow, I will be in a very bad consequences that called negative effect. That's forcing him to take the drug. On the other hand, there are positive consequences. The mind is thinking about the drug. Mind is thinking, what happened if I get the drug? How good I will be feeling? How normal I will be feeling? So he is trying to balance between negative and positive consequences. And of course, uh, um, of course a person is also developing dependence, meaning he's also developing tolerance at the same time, meaning the same effect requires very large amount of that substance. If suppose if he's taking Heroin, he initially maybe one or two back may, may be enough uh, for that person to feel normal. Now he needs one bundle or maybe two bundle. Initially, he, he may, a person may be snorting, but now he may be shooting to get the same effect to have the enough dopamine releasing in the central nervous system. So he's trying to balance between negative and positive consequences, and the result is taking extremely high dose of medications. And if he does not find, he start taking drug or substances which are even more harmful. And often they die because of respiratory failure, because of cardiac consequences of these drugs. 
So uh, a person is trying to balance between negative and positive consequences. That person needs help uh, and that person needs to see addiction specialist. That person should go to the rehab right away. Instead of just blaming that person that you have a bad choices, you are a bad individual, you are in the bad company, you should be punished. No, that person needs help. If we don't provide help, that person will do anything, any bad outcome, even that person may lose life. So it's very important to understand the person need help, not a punishment. So, uh, so if we find a person who has addiction, take that person immediately to some addiction specialist to provide him help, to provide him a safe environment. So in the next lecture, we will uh, continue um, with uh, other forms of addictions.